the weight of the baby? When he actually weighed him in Bangalore, uh -huh. he was around four and a half kgs two weeks ago. And then before we came, they checked he was five. Five? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Last week he was five. So between mm -hmm. last week and now is where he's lost. Lost some. Okay, no problem. Little bit less. It's all right. Okay. bilateral oblique facial gaps and the work is going to be involving the lips, the cheek, but also the eyelids. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be doing everything in one go. Okay. So probably the lips, if you see, it's not just the upper lip, mm -hmm. but also the lower lip because the cleft is actually starting from the lower lip. corner, mm -hmm. the upper corner of the lip. While normally for the cleft it starts from here. Mm. So this is like a TC7 and then it's ending into the eye. So we have to increase the length in this part mm -hmm. and also fix the muscles and everything inside. So that has some kind of a cheek uh, a projection and everything else. He looks to be around 5 though. To me, he that, looks That's why when we just came yeah. over. No, it can happen that yeah. even our machine has yeah. some calibration yeah. issues. He looks to be... Because last week we checked him and he took his first vaccine is done. When? Uh, first vaccine was on April 6th. And the next vaccine is on May 6th. Okay, so April 6th was done and there was no fever. Yeah, nothing. and April 6th he was 4 and a half. Yeah, so there was no fever, nothing no. apart from the touch, no. right? Cool. All right, so we'll, um, we're not planning surgery today. The pediatric and the sea surgeons will mostly be coming tomorrow. Okay. So we can plan in maybe in the afternoon or something tomorrow. We'll get to know the time. But I thought it was Wednesday. Mm -hmm. um, that's the day after? Yeah. That's the day they gave us because we actually I drove one night to make it. Okay. So we need to make it. Yeah, so it's exactly fine. If, if I can do it tomorrow, I'll do it. Why wait for me? No advantage in waiting one day. <laughs> no, because okay. of the um, this one that maybe I heard you right. Because of the uh, COVID lockdowns and everything, mm -hmm. my workload is a little less. Okay. Because so many of the pure cosmetic surgery patients here postponed. Okay. We don't want them to take so much of risk and come yeah. down from Delhi and Calcutta and and suddenly some cold, you know, issue. So that is less. So this is something which is doable. Uh, so in case possible, we will uh, do it. I'll let you know by by night. Okay. If you're going to do it, if you're going to do it, it's going to be tomorrow afternoon. Okay. Usually 3-ish. Okay. By this time, it should be done. That's okay. all. So around 3 four Around hours. 3 if we start. If not, we keep it on Wednesday. Okay. And how about the gap on the nose? So, the angular gap we won't fix right now. Okay. What we're going to do right now is fix the lip defect, lip the, fix the defect also the lower lip, the commissure, mm -hmm. cheek, Nice. That's what we're doing now. With regard to the alveolus, uh, we should do only when he's about seven or eight. Okay. But what would that cause? It would just be give a gap in the tooth. Right? So what that means is that the teeth will not come out correctly. The the permanent, okay. the deciduous teeth, okay. milk teeth. Okay. And then before the permanent teeth erupt, we will do surgery and put bone graft okay. and some bone morphogenic protein or PRF, whatever that is there at that point in time. 
which is the best. This is going to be done eight years or something from now. Okay. Seven and a half years maybe. No, but will that cause is to, to be occurred or anything? Yeah. Yeah. It will unfortunately will. Okay. And we'll have to put the surgery do the surgery. After that put him on braces also most likely. Okay. It's probably twelve or thirteen. Okay. So that one concern is still there. And another thing I want to check is the film. The film is the single. So how would that be? Would we leave it like that? Um, in this first surgery, we will not do anything about it. Okay. And then later on, we can try and create something. Probably when he's five or something that strong. Okay. Uh, it's it's because of the uh, the defect itself. Mm -hmm. uh, the muscle insertion. Actually causes the filtral dimple and the filtral ridge. Okay. It's because of the muscle, the way it inserts and the way. It, so that is all uh, not there now. Sir, if we leave it like that, will it be a problem? There will be no problem. Just that it will look a little weird. Yeah. So I'm not going to be doing anything now, not this time, because this itself will probably take me quite some time, maybe four hours or so. So we don't want to leave it. Who not on this is for kids. It's uh, not, not safe. So we will not do anything more than this. Mm. And, uh, let's see if the child grows. Mm. At that point in time we can... Some of these children, a few of them, also have problem with the tearing. Okay, we are using the... the give us a refresh tears. Because his eyes were drying up. So we are not putting the same. Yeah, that is way. different. That is what okay. now after surgery to close. Okay. So that will reconstruct the uh, spinters and it flows, get the eyelids together and everything. But still, um, uh, what can I say? The tearing mechanism will not be functioning very well. Mm -hmm. Some kids, if that's the case, then some procedure needs to be done for that, for the tearing or for that issue. Mm -hmm. uh, four years. Not even anything immediately, I think a little later. Okay. And also I'll check the uvula once more when we give anesthesia. Mm -hmm. To me it looks fine now. Maybe I can put the gloves and see so I can feel the palate also. Yes. This is something I'll show you now. Maybe you can cry a bit but yeah, okay. you can just use a torch and show the light to me and have a look yourself. Josh, Josh. Oh. So, I put my fingers inside. Okay, maybe. So you see that? Yeah. That it looks really good. But there's a small cleft thing on this side. Okay. Otherwise, it's pretty much fine. Maybe on the So, oh. I don't think the baby will need any palate surgery. Okay. The baby looks fine. Okay. And when I palpate also, uh, there isn't a cleft. At least you can feel the cleft. Mm -hmm. There's something called a submucous cleft palate where you can have this is small notching from outside. It looks nice, but inside it's not much. It doesn't look like that also. Okay. Okay. So it should be totally good. Yes. So. Routine just for him. Mm -hmm. With hearing, hearing the heart style, like, do you need that skill? We can. Okay. We will. It will be useful. You can just. Um, I've got it. I've got it. Okay. Any one of you has done COVID? Well, both oh, all of us did. <laughs> vaccination or? Not vaccination. Just an Yeah. We, still we need just the mother's um, COVID result. Okay. Okay. Um, what on, yeah, that was during the last time of the pregnancy. Anyone's new point and after that recently? No, during the time itself. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yes. So we're going to be doing multiple interpolating Z plasties and W plasties on the skin and inside different work on the muscle to get it together. 
That's the plan for the kiddo. And she's going to be working from the lip between the covers. Oh, it's okay. And then we move on to the cheek and all the way up to the eyes. <laughs> okay. This is a very, very rare syndrome, rare type of cleft, and uh, probably an incident that is one in a few million. Hello. Let's see, let's inside, let's try. You can see the cleft that's going on to the side of the alveolus. So the face is pretty much cut like that onto the bone, even on this side. Help. Mask to hold the thing so that breathing is through that. It's very rare we see these kind of patients. This patient, this particular patient is also having congenital heart disease where he has a PDA, which is very small. We hope it will uh, clot on its own. Only thing is, we should not let air go into the uh, system. Can I for a moment? Uh, it is possible to avoid that in the the 1 in 10 million type of bilateral or both side oblique facial cleft. This is when the cutie was not so happy. And now we have another one just before we did his surgery when he was in a pensive mood. But you can see the cleft that starts from the lip and goes all the way up to the eyes and also into the alveolus and the palate. And this is immediately after I finished the surgery. You can see there's multiple flaps, z plasties interpolating flaps on the skin, work on the muscle and the mucosa. And that's it now. It's gonna get better with time as the muscles start to work. It's gonna look much better. These are super rare clefts. One in 10 million probably of the live birds right now. So this is a pediatric craniofacial case that is just extubated. Um, yeah, these are always challenging both for the surgical team and also for the anesthesiologist and his team. So you can see they've got two rockets inside even though we have not worked on the nose. Dr. Nisha, you're always very happy to hear the child cry, right? Yeah, yeah. And can you tell us why? Uh, more than three, we use uh, volatile, uh, volatile anesthetics. So as long as the baby is breathing, uh, shouting, we can throw the volatile into some. So they will come out much better if they can. You can actually apply one or two more sterile strips. Because you don't see the little bit how it's pulling up, how it's pulling up against the tension.
All right. So just just came to say hi. That's it. Nothing special uh, is going to happen. I mean, um, we're going to remove his sutures probably Monday. Um, maybe Monday evening. That's it, right? Evening. Yeah. So we have to be Wednesday here again. Yeah. Because you know, it's otherwise I use very fine sutures. And uh, you know, with this kind of complex clutch, we can't be using glue a lot also. We need to suture a lot. And also it's in layers. So we have to remove and it will can't move. It will take 10 minutes or so, 15 minutes or so to remove. Multiple sutures are there. You know, much more than you can count. A lot. So it will take a while to remove the sutures. So what we generally do is just like surgery, you have to keep him fasting. Okay. Little less is enough. Okay. And after surgery, just like that, little less will be enough. But if the only advantage, there will be no blood, there will be no pain. Okay. No pain. No. Why? Because we just take one of the switches, right? Okay. And tomorrow will be day three. Okay. Tomorrow will be day four, right? And what do we do on Sunday? What time will we finish the surgery for the baby? What time? Do you remember what time we finish the surgery? 6 o'clock or 6? We finish at 6 o'clock. So, probably, they give you some saline tomorrow and some gauze. What you have to do after the strips are removed, so just keep cleaning. So that you only see stitches which are white in color. They'll be very fine, like the size of your hair, probably. You can see them as small white dots. And then when you do that, the scars are less. It's also much easier for you to keep them off. So, so tomorrow we'll do that. And also I'll give an idea how much it's healed. Yeah. Once I see that in the evening and then we'll take a call. Sure. It's healed fairly well. Tomorrow evening we'll do it on Sunday evening itself. Sure. Which also means you can leave earlier. Okay. The sutures are out, we have no business here. <laughs> <laughs> Already you can leave, but you're going to come back yeah. to take the sutures off. Please uh, find you to play now. That's covered really nice, huh? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I left the thing as it is, man. Sutures? Yeah. You'll get slightly better results if you take it out. Are you going to get the rest of it? Yes. लोट पड़ गया तो तेरे से लड़ते हैं तो कहीं बुड़ी नहीं रहा दे यहाँ कहीं उड़ी नहीं है तो कहीं ये लाइस तो टोटो कर रफा कोड तेरे कोड तेरे नहीं कोड टोसे से कोड पुरे रफा पट पट लग
So we've just removed the sutures uh, of this kit that had this oblique facial cleft. Multiple sutures had to be removed. We've also put in a couple of stitches on the commissure on one side uh, because I think we would want that uh, as a reinforcement. Uh, today is day five. Um, so the bulk of the skin area is very well healed. Little healing is needed in one of the commissure. I think it's a left side. And so a couple of stitches were given there. The baby is good to leave. I think they're going to leave tonight. And they live in a city not nearby. Uh, I would not need to see them here for the next few years. Um, the entire cleft defect from the eye to the corner of the mouth on both the sides have been repaired with, uh, as I mentioned earlier, multiple Z plasties and interpolating flaps in order to get the length and also in order to get the uh, coverage of both the skin, the underlying tissues and especially the muscle as well. show you some other views this is a very rare facial cleft anomaly probably one in millions nowadays because of advances in the USGs in the intrauterine phases the rates have declined a lot so when he came to us this was around a week back this is how he presented there was proper bilateral facial cleft on the right extending up to both extending up to the infraorbital regions we did a correction not only at the skin level muscle repair was also done if you can see yeah 
He's happy posing, I think, with the camera. <laughs> Sutures have been removed for him, the stitches have been removed. There are a few stitches, especially along the oral commissure. They are all dissolvable. Most of them have been removed for him. He has cooperated very well throughout the process. So the clefts or the hollowness in the face have gone. Yes, healing will take time. Repair has been at multiple levels. Intraoral work has also been done. Not healed very well. Yeah. Um, I hope it just feels out. Awesome. It had been well. The right side is completely healed. Right? right side, the commissure is completely healed. Left side commissure only is a little bit, uh, is a little bit not so well healed at the moment. All right. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Right, so we'll see you after a while. Okay. You're leaving back to Bangalore today, right? Tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow. okay cool. So the Vitam can be in Bhutan, yeah? <laughs> you can apply uh, Vitam on the... Yeah. I think it's got the... And on the commission alone, you can apply... Uh, yeah. Commissioner can apply the new Okay, that's what we have in Yeah, bye-bye.